take on the day with Lorraine and Actimel. Morning on today's show, leaving her WAG lifestyle behind to trek across the Indian desert. I'm talking to Abby Clancy about her latest venture, that's in 15 minutes. Also on the programme, we're cooking a sizzling stir-fry this morning. I'll be helping Reza Mohammed in the kitchen just after nine. And find out how this millionaire family helped transform a struggling single mum's life, that's at five to nine. And Ashes to Ashes is back for the third and final series. I'll be talking to two of the stars. First, though, we're talking about the election and David Cameron was on the show earlier. Joining me now to discuss that interview are journalists Quentin Letts and Celia Walden. Welcome, welcome. I think with David Cameron, he's often criticised about the style over substance, isn't he? And today, in that interview, we actually saw him talking about a list of actions. Should we take a listen to the clip first sure. and then get some reaction to it? We're going to freeze public sector pay for a year from 2011. That's a difficult mm. decision to make, but we've made it. Pensions. We're going to ask people to, re to retire um, a year later from 2016. Child trust funds, they're a good mm. thing, but they should only go to the least well-off families. There was never any doubt he was going to be a smooth performer this morning. But he what scrubs about up the content? well. And, yes. and he always yeah. has done, and that's his strength, or one of his strengths. Really what this is coming down to this election is the Tories are saying, we won't tax you so much, but we're not going to spend so much. So the extravagance, the government spending splurge is going to come to an end, but at the same time our wallets aren't going to be picked to quite that extent. So that's really what is coming, the, the basic choice is that. But he won't be drawn on this detailing the efficiency savings. No, of course he won't, because he, they, first of all, they haven't seen the government books, but also uh, politicians are never too precise about the nasty things they're going to do, because that's the surest way to lose an election. But he is giving a very strong hint there that the, the welfare state, the, the